Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of React WooCommerce Theme Development with REST API. In this video, we are going to continue with the development of the form, the checkout form. And now we're going to do the country selection. Like in the checkout form, user will have an option to select between a list of countries that we will have. Okay, let's do that. So we're going to create a file called country selection and inside of this I'm going to paste a bunch of code and I'll explain to you what that is. So paste that. We're going to need the errors. So say, okay, let's rename this as error, not errors. Okay. And let me also update that where it's used. Input field. This is error, not errors. Okay, good. Uh, we're also going to need the arrow down um, file. So I'm going to get that and paste that inside of the icon. So icon SVG, this is where we need the arrow down icon. Okay, so we'll go to SVG, create a file called arrow down dot SVG, paste that there, and then just run npm run SVG, pm run SVG and it's going to create the arrow down icon component. Okay, so we created the React component as which your arrow down. Now we can directly use that. Okay, so go back there and now see icons arrow down dot JS. Excellent. So we've got that now. Moving on. Uh, so we have component, uh, we've created a component called country selection. And inside of this, we have input, we have handle on change, we have countries, is shipping yes or no, true or false. Uh, we have the country data, uh, we have the errors, and then country hyphen shipping on billing depending on what's been passed here. And then inside of this, we have the label uh, with the abbreviation, uh, input ID, and then we have the select element which has handle on change country and then some class name input ID and we have different options available like select a country. We check if um, the countries is not empty and then we're going to map through it and then we're going to pass the key of the country code. The data uh, country code will be the country code itself and the value of that and the country name. So the, the data that we were receiving uh, from the API that we hit the rest API we already have that all that information so we're just kind of looping through uh, these countries and just going to display that to the user okay and we also have the arrow down uh, icon there in that select okay and then in case if there's any error we'll throw that error here all right so there you go so now if I uncomment the country selection like so we have passed all the data, input, handle, on change, countries, is shipping or not. All of the data has been pulled from here and we're just passing that. And now if you take a look, we have to of course import it. So import country selection. Now we don't have that error, which is great. Let's remove this console that we are getting. So I'm going to just remove that console. Yeah, here's the console. So I'm going to remove that. And now just add some products okay so now you can see that we've got the form we also got the list of the countries which is great that's coming from the country component the inspect element that's our select uh that's our arrow you can see that arrow which we uh use we use the icon component svg icon component so that's your arrow here and this is your select that's your select okay and then this has all the list of options, which is basically looping through all the countries data that we got from the REST API. And we are kind of showing that over here and then the user can select that. Okay, great. Uh, moving on. So we've got the country selection. We've got address. I think now is the time we deal with the handle on change function. So uh, inside of the handle on change function, inside of checkout form, we have to write and we have to handle this. So first we pull the target from this. So we say target equals event empty object. Okay, so we pull the target from this event. And then we say uh, we handle some some of the conditions here. Like let's say if target dot name equals create account. So we'll deal we'll do this condition later, but I'm just putting that here. 
for now target dot name equals create account so if we need to create account then handle create account we have to pass input set input and we have to pass the target okay we haven't created that function so let's create that function here I'm just going to do a copy paste pass that information and then we'll deal with that later okay next else if target dot name equals billing different than shipping billing different than shipping then handle billing different than shipping again create that and then handle billing different than shipping so you're creating a bunch of functions because we're going to need that uh, in case if we selected an option that his billing address is different than the shipping address we will have to deal with that that's why i'm just creating this function keeping it ready and we're going to basically work on that um, later on so else if is billing or shipping i guess this will be is billing or shipping right yeah this will be is billing or shipping is billing or shipping so otherwise, if it's either billing or shipping, then in that case, again, we have to handle it differently uh, for each case. If it's shipping, we have to handle it differently. And if it's billing, we have to handle it differently. So if it's shipping, we have to basically handle the shipping change, handle shipping change. And then otherwise, we have to handle billing change we'll do that in a moment otherwise last but the, not the least if it's not one of those cases then just handle it normally just say const new state equals whatever that input value is the original input value is uh, then comma you set the value of the new uh, new input that's being changed being manipulated and you say target dot name equals target dot value okay so that will contain the new state all I have to do now is just call the set input and put the new state all right so take a look input initially has this initial data which contains your default customer information like first name last name all of that stuff right similarly shipping has that data and all of this data is available to input initially okay set input which is what we're doing here is going to basically say that okay what have you clicked whatever element you've given you've clicked a text give me the target what's the target target dot name input uh, name would be let's say first name okay so first name what's the value that the user has entered okay so give me that so then whatever the data already present in the input which will be initially equal to this initial state is going to take that and then merge it with whatever the user has entered so if initial value of the first name was empty it's going to now place the value of the um, whatever has been entered by the user and of course it will still have everything else that we have in the initial state okay so that's when we get the new state so now at this point we'll change this set input uh, is going to change the value of the input to this new state which will now contain whatever has you whatever the user has uh, entered so that's what, what's going to happen there okay so let's see if that works just console out the input here all right so let's do that now after this we also have to handle uh, these guys which is in case if it's billing or shipping and if it's is shipping or is billing so we'll have to handle that so let's go ahead and do that i'm going to do some copy paste just to save time so you're going to need two functions handle shipping change and handle billing change and they're going to be async functions because we're also going to need to set the states for the country which we'll create in a moment okay so let me go ahead and say of course that makes this also uh, an async function so async and then here we'll say await handle shipping change it's going to pass the target and here it'll be await handle billing change and it's going to be target 
and over here same thing is happening whatever you're doing here if you're doing here as well but uh, just slightly different so in the new state we are pulling whatever the data of the initial state is we are adding the input dot shipping value and then uh, whatever user has uh, entered we are setting that equal to that and then just setting the input to the new state okay and similarly uh, we are doing that here as well but we are doing that for billing uh, besides that we also need to set the states for the country uh, depending on what user has selected so we need to create that function also so we're going to create that those two functions so i'm going to go to utils i'm going to create another directory called checkout and then inside of that i'll create index.js and i'm going to paste two functions which i've created first will be the set states for country and second will be get states the job of this will basically be to uh, go to the woocommerce states endpoint okay and pass the country code and get the data okay so we'll say x here's states endpoint okay and this will just make an axios request an async await function want to get the state for the user now inside of this function set says for country is going to take the target if the target dot name equals country then this is going to run otherwise it won't run um, and you could very well do like something like this if not equal to country then return null you can do that okay so there you set the fetching states uh, to true you basically get the country code value because that will be inside of the data attribute for that particular option and then we get the state using this function and then set the state's value set is, is fetching states to false so now if you go back set states for country it's already imported that on top if you go back and if you do a selection of this guy let's say I put India there there you go and if you see a network so when um, of course this is your address inside of which you have your country selection so basically this handle on change will be called and when the handle on change is called is going to check if it's shipping and if it's billing or shipping or not so in this case it's billing or shipping uh, address that we are trying to work on and it is actually shipping so we're going to call the handle is shipping change it's going to set the value uh, of the new state to that value so now you can see india is selected with the help of that and set states for country has been called and that is actually going to get the states for us so that's the network call country code is india it's got all the states okay so now we have to put the states into the states field all right and apart from that if you just type this notice that under the shipping it's also adding of course it's added india i n because we selected india there so it's added the uh, name also there all right cool so that's it so far for this video in the next video we are going to do the state selection and we'll continue with our building our checkout form all right so i hope you did like the video if you did please give a thumbs up and give super thanks by hitting the super thanks button and uh, do follow me on github my github handle is imran Sayyad. do star my repository to support my work and uh, do follow me on Twitter as well. My Twitter handle is Cody Tech. So I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.